Axel Pratik and in this session we are going to discuss Sport Vector Machine Classifier. Let's start this session. In SVM, we consider a n-dimensional space where n is the number of features. It means that if a dataset having two columns or two features, then we will prepare a two-dimensional graph by considering x and y attributes. If dataset has three columns or three features, then there will be three-dimensional space or three-dimensional graph by considering x, y, and z dimensions. And for n number of features, there will be n dimensional space. On this dimensional space, we plot each data point as a point. And SVM try to perform classification by finding the hyperplane that differentiate the classes very well on this dimensional space. So how we draw this dimensional space, how we scatter those points, and how SVM find or identify a hyperplane that differentiate the classes will be the area of discussion in this session. So now let us consider a classifier which is used to classify apple and peach to fruits. So here we have two classes and in order to classify these two classes let's suppose we have two attributes x and y. So since we have only two attributes x and y so it will be plotted in a two-dimensional graph on this we have x-axis and here we have y-axis. The classes of apple is identified by red while for peach we are using blue color points. So these are the data points which are scattered on this x and y plane. And our idea is to identify a hyperplane that will distinguish or classify these two classes very well. The working of SVM is different from the traditional machine learning algorithm. The traditional machine learning algorithm will try to learn by observing the perfect apples and perfect peaches in the stock. It means that we are only considering those apples which appear like apples. And we focus on those peaches which are appear like peaches. And these standard samples are likely to be found in the heart of the stock as shown in this figure. But SVM does not function in this way. Rather than observing the standard samples of apple and peaches, it try to identify or it try to observe those apples which look like peaches or it try to identify a peach will look like apple. And the system try to classify these kind of apple which appear like peaches or peaches which appear like apples into two different classes. And the idea is that if classifier is able to identify or separate these type of fruits accurately then automatically it will classify standard apple and standard peaches. So the focus here is on those apples which are very close to peach and those peaches which are very close to apple. So we are only considering these two data points which are very close to each other and if we are able to do so we will automatically able to classify those standard apples as well as standard peaches and you can see that there are multiple possible options to draw that particular line or to identify that particular hyperplane. Thus the challenge for SVM is to classify the best separation line or the optimal line which is best fit line to perform the separation in a best possible way. And it is important to note that this decision is very important because it affects all our future prediction of the classes and every line can produce different results so it is very important to select the best separation line. SVM try to identify a hyperplane to consider those fruits which appear to be identical and try to classify them accurately. And for this it identify a hyperplane which has the maximum difference from these two points. So these two points are called as vectors whole algorithm is supported by those vectors so that's why it is called as support vector machine. This is all about the classification of a linearly separable data points. Here we have data set which is linearly separable but sometime we may have a data set which is non-linearly separable. So how to handle non-linear separable data points with SVM will be considered in next section. Thanks for watching this video.